This last Christmas, I opened up a camping trip to anyone who wanted to join me and the Ghost Squad for a Christmas meetup. I drove to Dade City, Florida to join everyone at the Compresco Equestrian Campground, Green Swamp Area, which is part of the Southwest Florida Water Management. You can camp there for seven days free with an online permit reservation. The drive there takes you through some back roads and very rural areas. Nevertheless, it was a peaceful and scenic drive to camp. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. So just be brave and come along. I wanna do it all. This is Jim, everybody. Say hi. hi. Look at this setup here. Oh, and this is storage? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know when I got here you were going to have this much storage. This is so cool. Look at this tent. It's so beautiful. Bathroom. This is his toilet and his his toilet and his shower in there. Isn't this cool? Let's be film the motorcycle that you got in there. organized here. Jazzaneda, which she just arrived to. We still got another spot here for somebody if they want to park back here. Skip parked over here because I'm going to be helping him because he's just got like, he's just staying in his car so I told him I'd make him coffee in the morning and stuff so he didn't have to bring too much stuff with him. He was really helpful the last time we were camping. This beautiful gray hawk, look at that. It's just gorgeous. So we're not getting too much sun here in the afternoon but I'm not really going to be running anything other than my fridge. We've got the pavilions for Christmas, and we have the fire pit over there. We have another fire pit over here. So that'll be good if it rains on Thursday, which you're saying may my rain. We can cook over here. Skip just got here, so he has to get set up. There's a spot we left open here because there's another girl that's supposed to be arriving. So I thought I'd leave that spot here for her. And then we also have water. I think this is the other girl, Tisha. That she says she's coming in a band. She's going to have to go all the way back. She looks like she likes the. Uh, she likes camping. That's a good little part. Oh, look at this, and it's manual. Really cool. If this doesn't have a screen uh, thing in the front. You could put it in too if you wanted. Um, I think ARB makes the same one, and everything from that will fit there. Tell everybody your name. Oh, hey, it's Tasha. <laughs> I'm like, we were filming her, we didn't even introduce her. She got some solar on there. Yeah, she's got a lot of little panels. And she's got back, what is that a cam? Oh, side cameras. There's seven cameras on the side. Oh. See, that's what I was telling Bob. Oh, cool. What are, those are like the backup cameras, right? Yeah, I'll show you. Isn't that cool? Look at how many security cameras legs. she has on top of her van. She could see everything going on. The legs are built into the awning. This is why I love doing these things, because you see everybody set up, everybody has different stuff. Well, this, this is a, oh, look, at this is cool for a van. I already fed this in the first, the first week I had it. The wind grabbed it. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful with she the wind. You could probably return it. They sent it to the wrong house. Uh -huh. I had to go hunt this thing down. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just got the, the tie-outs, too, already set. Just put a couple steaks and that thing ain't going nowhere. So you bought that van with the top or you had the top put on? No, no it, it came with that. It came with the high top? Yeah, it took me like six months to build it. Oh, wow. Right. I just been adding a little bit, a little bit here and there. You took all the badging off the van. Like, yeah, I mean, the whole thing. What do you? What's your problem? <laughs> you 
It's just got a bike. I know what this is. Oh, I got a generator. Nice. Look at the cameras. These are all backup cameras. She has all around her RV so she can see. So basically the same thing that I can do with my backup camera, she's got them all around. She can switch between screens. We'll talk about that later. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna kill herself. <laughs> oh my God. She jumped out of the car at 40. When she was like, I don't know, a couple months old. Are you serious? I'm like, where's the dog? She's got nine lives. I'm like, where's the dog? I'm looking at her. She's not there. I see her running up towards the, towards the car. Oh my God. Why would you have that in your car? <laughs> I don't want to see Lydia use it. Oh no, I'm not using that. You got to do this, right? That's for your shower, isn't it? That's a kid's hula hoop. That's too small for an adult. You're not going to fit in that if that's going to be your shower. That's a kid's hula hoop. Work, That'll fit. It? If I take a shower in there, it'll fit. I'll fit in there, but you're kind of big for that. Real fast. <laughs> try to get one without stopping. Now try, no, do it there and then try to put it in the other arm without stopping. <laughs> you messed up. Real people camping. <laughs> Look at all the panels she's pulling out. Some serious solar. They're trying to get a little juice for, for the fridge. The sunset. Okay, we got campfire over there. We got Jayco here. Another Jayco there. We got me over here. We got Tasha over here. Skips over here. She keeps borrowing my stuff because he's a minimalist. <laughs> but he borrows my stuff. <laughs> not, not very minimal, huh? My God. So I made some banana bread before I left my house this morning and I gave some to Skip and to uh, Jim also and the guys. It's nice to see guys over there hanging out, talking while the women are still sleeping. But it's going to be a woman's cooking day today. I mean, I'm already, I already cooked everything, but I know there's all going to be a lot of prepping and stuff. So I'm sure the ladies are inside getting things ready for a meal today. So that's going to be nice. So I'm sitting here with my banana bread and a hard boiled egg and just some coffee this morning. Look at my little missy. She's antsy to go outside this morning and go outside to the camp. Want to go outside, missy girls? You got to wait till me and have my breakfast first. Yeah. It's really nice that we have this pavilion here. Skip just pulled here this morning because he didn't have cell coverage last night. So he went and slept over or closer to the edge um, because he couldn't. He has Metro Metro PCS on his phone, so he could not get coverage. Me, I have Verizon, so I'm, I'm good with the coverage. And that's really important if you're going to be traveling is you have to have good cell coverage, a good company that's you're going to be able to get the most benefit for your bang for your buck. What do you want, Missy Girls? What do you want? You want to go outside? You got to wait. I got to have my breakfast first. I'm hungry. Skip is cutting some fire starter for tonight for our campfire. And then the guys um, said that they were going to go look for some wood. I think Jim's leaving today, though. He's got to go head up north to be with his family. Muffin waiting over here. It's going to be super, super nice. I can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. Next time on Simply Irving, Becca in the Casita joins us. And dinner is served on Christmas Eve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have you ever dreamed of traveling but don't necessarily want to be alone? Well, now you can join the Ghost Squad Caravans. It's not part of a club, but of a nomadic community where uncommitted bonds are formed, where cliques with clubs can form and introverts or newbies to the group can feel left out. We are different. By connecting with other women during your travels, you can enjoy the uncommitted lifestyle that nomadic traveling provides. With an opportunity for you to fellowship, explore, share adventure, and sit with good company, Ghost Squad Caravans are here to give you a place within a space. This is your life, your choice. Make it your best season yet. We provide emergency contact, mentoring, support, group connection, and the ability to share those connections. Ability for you to locate your pals and connect with new ones. Encourage, inspire, but most of all to love with godly love within the nomadic lifestyle.